Let's start from the beginning. There was a time in my youth, like we all know, I tried to find myself. But I already knew since I was a child, I was all about getting where I needed to be. And then I took off. I've had exciting life. I was a dancer, a performer, but that life was also hard and the joy disappeared. When the pandemic was over, something turned on in my head. I realized that I needed help. I'm in a better place now. I'm a giver. So since my community helped me in times of trouble and in my journey, it's time for me to give back. I don't trust the human species. Every day, I take baby steps. I live just for today. Once it's over, I thank God. I move on to the next chapter, whatever that may be. I volunteer whenever I'm needed. I volunteer in the shelter on 16th and Cap with the viejitas that are homeless. I was also homeless myself, and I know how it feels. On ladies' night, I give them dinner, we pamper them, and we also do their nails, and we play bingo and give prizes. And I volunteer at the She Boutique. We give the transgender ladies clothes, and anything they need, like hormones, therapy. We contact them with social workers for paperwork. We even help them with their transitioning. I hold on to my faith for dear life. That's what gives me the strength to go on because I know sooner or later, it's gonna get better on the other side. I try to go to church on Sundays to San Carlos. I pray wherever there is a quiet place. I meditate in the word. It says in the scriptures that Jesus came to give. That's where my volunteer work comes from. I'm a giver. And also my mom has been with me. She has always believed in me and knows that I'm a good person. I saw where I needed to be in order to help others, and that makes me feel good. I know the needs of the community, so this is where I'm at now.